Hello everyone and welcome back to the Kingsguard channel fan account. It's a glorious day here in London and we are just outside of Trafalgar Square. So we've got an exciting video for you in store today. We're going to take a walk down to Horse Guards Parade and we're going to take a look at the Household Cavalry just behind me. So let's get to it. So about a five minute walk from Horse Guards at the moment. And since it's such a nice day, just thought I'd take you with me. Now, we've actually got some police horses here. Didn't expect to see these guys. So let's have a little look what's going on. Looking stunning in the sunshine. Yeah, so as I was saying, we're gonna walk down to Horse Guards Parade and take a look at the horse guards down there. I expect it's gonna be quite busy. Um, but that's exciting and I can't wait to take you there. Now, something that's actually on my mind right now is I do have to mention that I actually haven't been to Horse Guards Parade for about seven months. Now, this is just to let you know that there is an, a particular individual down there at Horse Guards that films there every day and he outstays his welcome. And unfortunately, he has hatred towards every fellow content creator. Now, no one knows why. I can only imagine it's jealousy as his account is really small. I think we all know who we're talking about right now. You've probably seen it online that he doesn't like anybody. That channel, guys, is purely about making money. Making money by not being educational, informative, making money by being exploitative. I've got a lot of proof of money, the bank accounts. You agreed all about the money. And that is something that I personally find morally reprehensible. This is not a competitive thing. There are about 15 people here in total that regularly film, stream. Everybody gets on. No problems at all, in any way, ever. Now, this video isn't about that, but I do just have to make you aware of the situation in case this certain individual does come up to us and decides to probably just talk gibberish it's it's kind of laughable but just have to let you know that it's quite a big deal for me today to go back to horse guards and really and truly everyone should be filming about the guards and not creating gossip and fake allegations and to be honest just making a bit of a a bit of a stench over there, let's just say. It leaves a bitter taste in your mouth. So, with all that said, I just wanna say that you guys are the best. We are about to hit half a million subscribers. I just wanna thank each and every one of you and especially our channel supporters. We really can't do it without you. Also, if you wanna check out our merch, which is just literally, we've launched a new product today. It'll be on the screen right now. So sit back, relax, get yourself a cup of tea, true British style, and enjoy the video. So we're actually just passing by one of the most expensive hotels in London, the OW. Oh, it is Raffles Hotel. Five star hotel here. I've never been in, but the photos online look incredible. And they also have a fantastic view of horse guards, which is just here. And there we go. We've made it down in front of Horse Guards. So, interesting facts that this is actually a, this is the official entrance to Buckingham Palace, believe it or not. Even though Buckingham Palace isn't actually that close to here, it's about a 10 minute walk away, but through there is St. James's Park and then goes on to Buckingham Palace. And the architecture, the architect that designed this in 1750 is William Kent, a northern architect from Bridlington. So I'm just waiting for the road to become clear so it's safe to cross. You should only really cross 
when it's green, like it is now. And here we go, everyone. We actually have the Blues and Royals in town today. So, this is the Blues and Royals Regiment. I think they've been on duty already for about an hour or so, so we are expecting a change to happen. You can just see there in the right-hand corner that there is a no-touching sign. So it means you are not allowed to touch the horses anymore as things were getting slightly out of control of members of the public. Members of the public were unfortunately touching the reins and as we all know that touching the reins is like the steering wheel of a car so never do that but look how composed they look. I believe this horse is a black Irish giraffe. Let me know in the comment box below if you know exactly what the breed is but I believe it's a black Irish draft horse. So I can hear some uh, music going on down there actually. That's interesting, something might be happening on Horse Guards Parade. So I'm just walking through the archway here and I think I can see some massed bands here that are either rehearsing or doing a performance of such. Now, I've never actually seen this before, so let's, let's go and have a look. to see and hear God save the king just there. Losing Royals Guard looking very prim and proper. So take a look at their uniform there. This is their summer order uniform. So see there, he has a red plume, which is actually made out of horse hair. Again, just going to repeat myself there. It's made out of horse hair. And he's holding a saber in his right hand and the reins in his left hand. We have a foot guard there coming to adjust the reins. It's an excellent day here in London. It really is stunning, like beautiful weather. Lots of, lots of people enjoying this area. So these guards are stationary for about one hour at a time. So every 15 minutes, a foot guard comes out and pretty much assesses if the horse needs its reins tightening or if anything is needed by the horse mounted guard. Now 
Now we are expecting to see a change anytime soon, so this is going to be great. So the change will be two sets of horse mounted guards changing over with the current guards that are on duty at the moment. Let's go and take a look over here. It's quite a nice moment. This looks like his father is uh, showing the young boy the horse. Very, very nice for the youngsters to see these magnificent creatures and also seeing a guard in real uniform. You know, these are real work in military. But obviously, as a child, you might not realize that, but it is important to remember that these are well and truly professional military. They do and will go to war if they need to. So we're probably going to be seeing the two horses come out anytime soon. You can see how busy it is, look at that, quite incredible. People wanting to get photos. Now, as I said, everyone, it's great to be back here. It really is, you know, it's a very, very special place. As long as every fellow content creator respects the area and respects one another, that is the main thing. That is priority. As positivity is really important, especially these days, you know, you need to remain positive. So you might get lots of backs of people's heads in this video, but that's because I'm not standing too close. I'm giving space to the guards and everyone else that actually wants to take photos. You know, it's, it's nice to observe rather than be in everyone's face. So again, just to mention that this was actually built in 1750, so in the 18th century. So what's that? That makes this incredible area, this incredible building around 275 years old. So it's steeped in history and culture. No wonder lots of people around the world want to visit this very, very special place. Lots of incredible architecture around here as well. You know, we Houses of Parliament is just down the road. 10 Downing Street, where the Prime Minister lives, is also just down the road. And we're actually expecting to see the horses come out of this section just in the middle of the courtyard. And then they will enter the back of the sentry box and the guards that are on duty at the moment will leave their post and hopefully we'll have a drink of water and I most definitely know that the horse will have lots of water to drink. So do make sure to give this video a like if you're enjoying it. it really does help 
the video circulate and just let other people see this video just like you. So you can feel a anticipation in the air. And we will hear the clock strike anytime soon. Lots less activity since these signs have gone up. In terms of people going next to the horse, but you can imagine when it does get extremely busy that it's almost quite suffocating for the guard and the horse. And I see why people are very, very attracted to the military. You know, they they look incredible and it's it's a marvel. It really is a marvel to witness. Especially if they're, you know, they are so famous that if it's the first time you're seeing them, then I can, I can understand why people get super excited. Okay, so the bell is just starting to chime. Here we go, everyone. Let's enjoy the change. So we've got high security here. You can see the extreme caution here at horse guards, you know, protecting everyone. Not just the guards themselves, but also the members of public. Shout out to the police. And they will now do a dismount. You're not allowed to go forward actually, so I don't know what this person's doing. Let's take a closer look. A small pat on the horse to let the horse know that the trooper is about to dismount. Wow, okay, so that was, that was fantastic to see. And now this is the next lot of guards that are gonna take duty here for the next hour. And it is quite hot here, you know, it's around 28 degrees today. So let me know what that is in Fahrenheit. I believe it's around 82, 83 degrees Fahrenheit. You can actually walk through the square now. Um, but there's a, I think there might be some kind of guard change going on up there, so I'm going to leave them to it. Look at that, the amount of people pouring out of horse guards at the moment, it's quite incredible. And this building, just marvellous. So if you don't know what's through there, through the middle of the arches is St. James's Park and that continues on to Buckingham Palace. And that's why earlier in my video, I said that it is a, it is the official entrance to Buckingham Palace, which is super interesting. Not many people know that.
it's really good when it is sunny like this they can actually retreat the horse backwards into the sentry box to keep the horse cool and also for the guards as well you can imagine standing outside in the sun all day long is quite exhausting again no water no communication you know they are very disciplined in fact they have extreme discipline it really is what sets the bar with these guards police helicopter in the sky Again, amazing buildings here. So everyone, I just want to say a massive thank you for tuning in. It really is great to have you on board. And like I said, I want to thank each and every one of our subscribers. We are just approaching that half a million mark. It's just amazing. Can do, yeah. The community here on YouTube is just incredible. So get your comments in the comment box below. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you again in my next video.